My name is Nigel Williams. I'm a peer recovery coach with Rise Recovery. Uh, what that means is I help young people get sober, not because I've read about substances in a book, but because I actually, I actually lived it. I went through it. When I was uh, 12 or 13, I started experimenting with substances, uh, like a lot of teenagers do. Um, I think I quickly found that it got out of hand. I found myself using more than I said I would, using when I said I wasn't going to use, uh, doing things I thought I would never do. I think that's a misconception with addiction is that you, don't, you can't really see past today, right? It's the next fix, the next high, getting money. Uh, you don't really have time to think or dream about five or ten years from now because you're so stuck in today. Like you, you can only be happy uh, if you can afford to be happy. You can only feel okay if you can afford to feel okay. So you don't really get a lot of time to dream or plan while you're in, in your, while you're in your addiction. I'm 20. I'll be 25 tomorrow, and uh, I've buried more friends in the last two or three years than my parents have, and they're in their 60s. Like, this thing kills people. I mean, that's the whole reason I do what I do. It's not because I think drugs are bad or I want to ban everything. It's because I've buried so many friends in this disease and I'm tired of doing it and I don't want to die myself. This disease that I have, the disease of substance use, the disease of addiction, tries to tell me that I don't have a disease. And so every day I wake up and remind myself that, you know what, I am powerless over drugs and alcohol and that I need an outside help um, to help keep me sane. I need people. To, that know me and love me to help keep me sane. I have to keep walking the same path. I can't stop doing what, I, what I've done uh, because then I'll become who I was and I don't want to be that guy anymore. Rise uh, was a huge thing. They don't give up on anybody. Um, even kind of when you think you should be given up on. And it, it, can be, it, can be, it can make you so angry because like, why would you just give up already? Um, but that's love, that's unconditional love is that we don't give up on people no matter what. They understood and they listened. Everyone else that told me not to keep using or not to keep going forward had never been where I've been before. They, they couldn't understand how I feel. And I, I believe that to this day, I believe if you haven't gone through addiction, you can sympathize, but you can't empathize. So when I came here, when they, when they told me who they used to be and they, they described the stories of things that they had done and it sounded just like me and they said, yeah, that was me, but it's not me anymore. That was the one thing that made a difference is that connection that I know how you feel, let's get through this together kind of thing. If I'm talking to my younger self, I'm like really giving myself solid advice. It's just keep going. Just keep moving forward. Uh, there's going to be days where you want to give up. And there's going to be days where it makes sense to give up. Uh, but don't. Just keep moving forward. It gets better. I can't tell you when or how. Uh, but that's my driving force today is that on my bad days, I know that it's, it's better tomorrow. And not tomorrow than the day after that. So no matter what, keep moving.